Hi friends, so we're gonna do a special book here. It is The Peaceful Piggy Meditation. It is a book about finding your space and breathing just a little. And it'll give you a little practice. We'll do a little practice at the end so we can all do it together. So this is a beautiful book and um, I can't wait to share it with you. So The Peaceful Piggy Meditation. Sometimes the world can be really such a busy, noisy place. Sometimes it feels like you're always, you always have to hurry, hurry, hurry. And you feel like you can't slow down, even when you're sitting down. It can be hard not to lose your temper when you're angry. And when you get really frustrated, when things don't go your way. So it's a good place to have a peaceful place inside. It's good to meditate. Peaceful piggies know when, they, when to take a break, find a quiet spot and just breathe, 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 breathe. Mom or dad might help them set up a special place with a few things. Maybe a crystal for clear thinking, a stone for stillness, or even a flower for kindness. Peaceful piggies sit like a king or queen on their throne, feeling the solid earth beneath them and the big sky all around them. Every day they sit feeling their breath going in and out in and out until their minds calm down. So peaceful piggies feel like a bird in the sky and calm as the pond on a cool, clear night. This makes it easier to accept things that happen and stop wishing for things to be different. See, my friend, he's sad. They're sad. When you're peaceful, you can be truly fearless. Look at him jumping into the, the pool. Oh. Best of all, when you are feeling peaceful, you like who you are just as you are. So, it's easier for the truth, to, for your truth to come out about yourself. Sometimes we need to say we're sorry. And it's easier to stand up for others. Peaceful piggies take good care of their friends and their enemies too. They try to be loving and kind to all beings, even worms. By slowing down, peaceful piggies notice all the magical little things in life, like the way the raindrops race down on your window, racing each other down and down and down. The way the clouds tell silent stories and the way birds sing songs just to you. A peaceful piggy can smile. Love to you, my friends. So now that we've read our book, I want you to do a couple of things for me. I'm just going to read to you. I want you to find a quiet place on the floor. You can use a pillow. So I'm gonna give you a second to find a pillow. Did you find your pillow? Now sit on your pillow. Sit like the piggies, crisscross applesauce. You can do it, I know you can. Sit with the straight back and look to your floor and put your hands, hang on to them you know, like this. Can you hang on to your hands? You're doing perfect, my friends. So 
So you can do a couple of things here. If you have a gong, you can ring, you can ring the gong or a bell. But if you don't have one of those, you can tap a metal bowl. And I want you to take a nice deep breath and feel the cool air coming in your nose. Then feel the warmed up air going out your nose. And if it count, if it helps, I want you to count your breath. So one in, two out, three in, four out. One in, two out, three in, four out. Feeling your thoughts, things in your brain, and your emotions that are sitting in your heart or your belly. Feel them settling down as you sit still. If you feel yourself thinking, Thinking and thinking again, slow down and breathe in and out. Remember to let your thoughts in your brain go and just feel the air going in and out, in and out. You can do this for as long as you want. Can you try for two minutes? It might seem hard at first, but as long as you can, and as long as you feel peaceful, when you're done, tap the bowl. But don't move yet. Wait until you can't hear it anymore. And enjoy your moment. Remember how good and quiet you feel. Imagine that feeling all day long, my friends the best and we'll be back with another book. Have a great day friends.